The distinctive manner of Lowry's work had emerged by the time entrance to the dwellings was painted in 1933, and in it we find a closely identifiable topography. Lowry's job as a rent collector in these poorer areas gave him an intimate access to the characters we find in this and many of his other urban compositions. The cloth-capped figure who stands by the window to the right, the pair of watching children, and the figures at the windows, for example. The entrance itself is not an exact representation, but rather an adaptation of how the dwellings would have been, and this changes over the four decades that the artist illustrated them in his work. The dwellings are the improved industrial dwellings in Salford, otherwise known as the Greengate Industrial Dwellings, which had been created in 1870 to provide accommodation for traders such as stonemasons, bricklayers and bookbinders. It has recently come to light that the entrance to the dwellings was exhibited in 1941 in Salford and Sunderland in 1942. An obsession with the urban landscape never left Lowry, but in later works such as Street Scene from 1965, we see a more experimental method whereby two accentuated imaginary towers appear in a foreboding manner over a road. This includes people who are both identifiable and presented in a ghostly white. Perhaps we are looking at a self-portrait of the artist in the immediate centre foreground, but this is unclear and left to our imagination. Again dating to the more experimental phase of the mid-1960s, a house is ambiguous in its reading and is left to our interpretation. The building is unlike any residence we may be familiar with and the setting is outside of the preferred urban context in the countryside. A figure has been plucked from the streets for us to observe at close quarters. Lowry was fascinated by the bizarre and the grotesque and there is certainly a strangeness to this solitary figure of a man clothed head to toe in black with just a flash of trademark red visible below his chin. Lowry described these figures as real people whom you might see in the street or park, isolated within their world by the gates behind them. <laughs>